Yes. Now, um, ataxia telangiectasia, uh, or AT, is a progressive genetic condition which causes severe disability, also shortens lives. Our reporter Antonia Hunter looks into this rare condition. In this three-part series, we look into a rare genetic condition called ataxia telangiectasia. He's got um, AT. He may not live till 30. By the time he's 9, 10, he'll be in a wheelchair. He's going to need constant care. As the children get older, there are different challenges for the family and for the person, the teenager. The thought of having twins is enough in itself with double the trouble, but for this family it was much more than that. When these two boys were just a few months old, differences between them began to show. It was a number of things really, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, Brogan started walking on his first birthday, didn't he, in the yeah, hall? He just yeah. got up and started walking and Brogan didn't. And we thought, oh, he'll just walk when he's ready. Yeah. Huh? He's always falling over. And then we just take him around people's houses and they're like, oh, he's all right, he's just developing later than his brother. Going to the hospital, like, um, every week or twice a week because he'd fall over and bang his head, get a big bruise or, or something. And we thought, oh, you know, social service is going to get involved soon because, you know, you know, you're here every week. But we knew there was something wrong, didn't we? Well, you did. I was, I was uh, hopeful that, I said, look, maybe they've made a mistake. Maybe he's got nothing. When we uh, went to the hospital, <laughs> There was a lot of doctors. You know when you go somewhere, you know that something's different. Because before they'd be like, oh, the twins, the twins, everybody wants to look. Well, I was saying, oh, nobody wants to look at us this time. It's, nobody would make any eye contact. And then they uh, called us into the room, sat us down. He's got um, AT. He may not live till 30. By the time he's 9, 10, he'll be in a wheelchair. Um, <clears throat> he's going to need constant care, one of you will have to give up work, and like it was just, it was like a blur. I'm on the internet from morning till night trying to find a cure somewhere, there must be something, someone must have a plan. One in 200 people carry the gene known to cause AT. When two carriers meet, there is then a one in four chance they will pass on both their defective genes to the child. AT affects many parts of the body. Coordination progressively worsens, the immune system becomes weaker and there is an increased risk of developing cancer. The life expectancy of those with AT is now 26 years old, which has increased from just 10 years old. Research into AT takes place right here at the Gurdon Institute in Cambridge. This is Professor Steve Jackson's lab, where his team are looking into developmental biology and, in particular, DNA repair. My lab's uh, really trying to understand how human cells work and how they repair damage to DNA, which is taking place all the time in our cells. Uh, and work of particular relevance to AT is the fact that some of these responses to DNA damage are defective in the cells from AT patients. That's because the ATM protein, which is deficient in these patients, normally plays an important role in recognizing, signaling, and helping to repair the DNA damage. If we understand the things that aren't working correctly in AT, then maybe it's possible to correct those at some level. We've been interested in AT for many years for two main reasons. One, it's a really debilitating disease and it's motivating for me and members of my lab to be working on a disease that's striking young people down because we'd love to do something to help these patients. Research has aided the understanding of AT biologically but also physically for families and carers living with the condition every day. Despite having AT, Bray is showing no sign of wanting to slow down. He wouldn't go 100% like broken but his body he gets tires, the knees, the legs. He just talks to everyone, gets on with everyone. Brogan helps him. Mm. Like they help each other. Like Bray doesn't want to give up. With these two, the bond will be there. But it's just going to be hard for both of them. Even though we kind of know what the future is for him, all we can do is the basics. What can you do? How can you prepare? He's a um, crazy little brain. What will be, will be. 
well and Tony Hunter joins us on the sofa now thanks for coming in this morning um, after watching the piece back um, do you think you've learned anything now from what eight years um, it's, it's one of those things where it's so rare and it's such a complex condition that when you actually look into it you realize um, what these people are actually going through um, every day you know having to watch your child from about basically two years old up to about 10 just increasingly deteriorate over that time um, and being the parent to that child um, is an incredibly difficult thing and just seeing that and you know seeing the inspiration that they have and you know like you saw there they they just want to do the basics they just want to make sure that he's got the best life possible and um, which is really incredible to be honest I learned just how strong people can be it's, it's amazing. Do you think people need to be made aware about AT? They do because it's so rare. I think that is part of it. It's a bit of a double-edged sword in the way people are curious because it's so rare. But then on the other side, they, you know, <laughs> it's so unknown and it's so rare and it's so unlikely you'd get it that maybe it's not. Yeah. You know, people people might think, oh, well, it won't happen to me. Um, it is slightly on the rise, um, just because people have more partners and things like that. Um, We're have to but leave it's there, still rare. But, but yes, thank you. thank you for joining us this morning. <laughs>